Addiction is a serious problem. It can slowly destroy an individual both physically and psychologically. Once addiction takes hold, these people slowly lose their sense of rationality. From someone needlessly putting others in harm's way by driving under the influence to a group of people illegally transforming a home into a contraband den. Here are some incidents where law enforcement had to get involved to give these people a wake-up call. I'm not, I'm not responsible for this. Please understand. Okay. Our first incident revolves around a woman named Heather Brooke Jackson. The incident occurred on June 20th, 2022 in St. Petersburg, Florida. Officers conducted a traffic stop on a motor vehicle. Heather instantly became argumentative with the officer. The officer asked Heather to sit on the curb. She tried to explain the situation to the officer. He asked her to wait for a moment while he checked her ID. No, stay right here. No, you stay right here. If you try to walk away, I'm going to arrest you. So sit down on the curb. Sit down. You sit down. Yes, sir. When the officer approached her, she took off on foot. After a little run, she was caught by the cop. Heather broke down crying once she was caught. Please understand, I'm... I'm put, put your hands up on the wall for me. A female officer arrived at the scene. She tried to calm her. Heather instead continued crying. The officer tried to explain to her that they did not understand her. Stand up, darling, okay? Stand up. Stand up, you What are you pleasing? Talk to me. Stand up. Stand up. Ma'am, stand up. Put your legs down, come on. Grow up here. Okay, lay down, good. What are we pleasing? What are we pleasing? Look at me, look at me. Why are you doing that? I can't understand you when you're crying like a child. I can't understand you. We're going to let you cry it out. You go ahead and do this until you come down. I'm so sorry. Please. Please Nobody's hurting anybody. There's a crack pipe. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Stop. Stop with the hands, okay? Please don't hurt me. Nobody's hurting you. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Another female officer joined the altercation. They then searched Heather for any contraband. They found a contraband paraphernalia in her pocket. Stop with the pocket shit. Okay, we already know what you have in your pocket. Stop. Ow. Ow. Stop. Ow. Ow. Let me just get it out of here. Let me get my gloves on. Ow. Let me 
One second, partner. I'll get you out of here. I'll play. What is Al right now? You're just laying on your side. What's Al? Ma'am, the jig is up that you have a pipe in your pocket. You need to stop grabbing for it. I told you it's broken. Yeah. What hurts? Did she get it up? Huh? I think so. I don't feel anything. The push rod's here and she rolled, so. Yeah. Open your hand, ma'am. She was then helped to her feet by the officers. They then placed her inside the police cruiser. Heather kept crying and speaking incoherently. We're gonna set you up because this cannot be comfortable, okay? There we go. Put your foot there, the pipe. Yeah, I see that. Thank you. Heather Brooke Jackson was charged with possession of contraband paraphernalia and evading arrest. While Heather tried to run away from the cops, our next individuals couldn't even run even if they wanted to. But before that, let's see what happens when someone decides to operate a vehicle while under the influence. Um, well, what I'm gonna be doing now is a series of tests to make sure that you're, that you are not under the influence when you're driving, okay? okay? The incident revolves around a man named Zachary W. Fisher. On May 28th, 2023, in Ventnor City, New Jersey, he was found driving intoxicated. An officer was on routine patrol when he observed a vehicle run a red light and improperly pass other vehicles, including his marked patrol vehicle. An officer was at the scene of a minor vehicle accident. Zachary parked his vehicle in a random driveway. He backed into the homeowner's vehicle. He asked the driver for his driver's license and other legal documents. A passenger was also there in the vehicle. Uh, appears to be a minor motor vehicle accident that occurred in somebody's driveway just now. I see. Why would you come here? Why would you come here? Fucking driveway. Are you turning around all the way over there? Beach Block, Portland. Uh, appears like there was a minor motor vehicle accident in somebody's driveway here. Gotcha. Negative, no injuries. Um, all right, let me get your license, registration, insurance, bud. I'm gonna grab your stuff too, I guess. Yeah, he's not, he's not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna need somebody over here for SSDs as well. The officer then collected the necessary documents from all the involved parties. Zachary possessed no driver's license. Other police officers arrived at the scene while the officer was checking the papers. You want the insurance card too? Yeah, we're in the insurance card too. 
Yeah. And then who's the registered owner? Me. You? Okay. We didn't want to I told her don't put it on the street. I said, don't put it on the street. Yeah. Doing that. He's like, Make yeah. Sure yeah, you guys are good. You guys can just wait up on your porch if you okay. want. Someone will come by and we'll, we'll grab all your information and we'll go from there. Well, this is your health insurance. I don't need that. Um, I don't need your visa card or your dental plan. Do you have a driver's license? I do have a driver's license. Okay, where's that? I just lost it. You lost your driver's license? Yeah. All right. 174 District 1. I'll have two New Jersey registers for you when you're ready. Okay. The parked vehicle is Uniform 52 November Echo Yankee. It's a black Porsche. The striking vehicle is going to be New Jersey Alpha 42. November, Charlie Lima, white Volkswagen. A woman who was a resident asked the officer if she could take a picture of the papers, but he denied it. The driver also did not have any registration card. The passenger had the document and gave it to him. Yeah. Can I take a picture of the um, insurance? His stuff is all going to be in an accident report I for know, you guys. I always say that, and then we don't get it for like a week or two. Or yeah, it it a takes a week. It takes five well, business days. I, I, you can't, I can't give you his information yeah. like that. you got to get it off the accident report. I've done it a million times. We're not yeah, supposed I'm to do it. I'm an agent. Yeah, we're not yeah, supposed to do it, though. That's not the way we did it. Here's the struck vehicle. Uh, oh, in, do, you have well, to worry about. do you have Do you have the registration for the car in there? Who's the driver? This guy was driving. Oh, he's, he's, he's backed up into the car. 100%. Do you, ha you, you, don't have, you said you don't have your driver's license on you, right? No, I don't. Okay, do you have the registration for the car? He was driving my car, so that's the registration. Well, this isn't the registration, this is the insurance. I need the registration card. It looks like this. Registration card. Okay. He is. Yeah. So. Hold on to this, because I gotta do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. You can just hang out in the car if you want, man. Have a seat in the car. Just have a seat. We'll be with you in a minute. After Zachary gave all the information, the police officer decided to run a series of tests. He also said that he was nervous. She asked him if he had injuries that affected his balance for another test. Where were you guys coming from? Okay, all right, that's enough. That's enough. Where are you coming from? Um, we were coming from, uh, I don't even know. Truck walk, rest walk. Okay. You were just at a restaurant? Yeah, yeah just a restaurant. All right, were not, you guys? Not far at all. Did you have anything to drink today? Uh, no, I did not. Did you take any kind of medications or anything? I did not. Okay. Um, well, what I'm going to be doing now is a series of tests to make sure that you're, that you are not under the influence when you're driving. Okay. okay. Um, so just keep your hands. Do you have any problems that affect your balance? Are you injured in any way? Um, no. Okay, and do you have any problems with your eyes? Uh, no. Okay. What's your first name? Zachary. Zachary? Yeah. And where do you live, Zachary? Uh, Upper Saddle River. Oh, Point Pleasant. Point Pleasant? Okay. I'm just super nervous because she's freaking okay, out. Okay, that's fine. Know? I'm trying to keep everything cool. So she I got gotcha. you. All right. Um, again, I'm going to ask you, do you have any injuries that affect your balance? I have another test for you. Um, I do. I, I'm, I guess, epileptic. You're epileptic? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll take that into consideration. So what I want, nope, stay right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Stop, stop moving. Stay right there. I'm sorry. I know, but you're about to back up to my other officer, okay? So put your feet together. And your hands down by your side. All right, stand with your heels together and your arms at your side. So just like you're doing now, arms down by your side. Do not begin the test until I tell you. Do you understand? Yes. When I tell you, I want you to raise one leg, either leg, approximately six inches off the ground, foot pointed out, keep both legs straight, and your eyes on the elevated foot. While holding that position, count out loud, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so forth until told to stop. So it's going to look like this. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so forth. 
All right, do you understand the instructions? Yeah. The cop confirmed that the driver was under the influence while driving. Another searched his pocket and wallet, but did not find anything. After the search, the officers let the passenger go and arrested Zachary. Due to driving while suspended, he faces jail time now. This is Zachary's fourth time being charged with driving while suspended as a result of a DUI conviction. Can you just... Stop moving. All right, got anything on you that's going to stick or poke me? Because we're about to search you. You want to search? Okay. Stop moving. Stop moving. I get that, but you're facing towards me right now, and I told you to stop moving. Alright, again, you don't got anything on your edge? Just stick me, poke me, hurt me anyway? I do not believe so. Okay. Grab what's in his ear, too. Yeah. Alright, you're kind of falling on me over here. Alright, stop. Uh, we have to, nope, 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 nope. Watch what you're walking on, okay? A, I know. Yeah. I know. Walk with me right here for a minute. Because I need to unlock my car. Gorm! Gorm! Need you to unlock my car. He's falling on me. I don't want to fall in this car. Oh, yeah, I grab that. No, he didn't. Hmm. Unlock it. All right. Look where you're going first. All right. Zachary W. Fisher was charged with driving while intoxicated, open container, unlicensed driver driving while suspended, improper passing, failure to observe traffic control device, improper backing, possession of CDS, criminal slash three RD degree, driving during a period of suspension due to DUI. As mentioned before now, we will see what happens when squatters get evicted by cops. Hey police, inside, make yourself known. Our next incident is centered around two women and a man on March 12, 2023, in Dayton, Florida. The officer received a call from the owner of an apartment. He claims that several squatters are living in his house. The owner said that one even flashed a weapon at him. The police officers came to the apartment and there they met with the owner. He informed them he had a firearm license and described the situation happening to his apartment. He also claimed that one of them even pulled a firearm on him when he confronted him to vacate the building. You can come right and go. That's that, yeah. It's that Salem Baptist. What is it? It's an assault, but it's a possible DB. Okay. What's up, dude? Hey, buddy. What well, was this somebody else here? I know in the back. I'm not being sitting on the street, but I'm far away. Uh -huh. you I'm yeah. good. How are you? This is your, uh, yeah, this I, I got down license. Okay, you're fine. Yeah, I, I bought this property. See, if, you, if you didn't have a gun out here, bro, I'm not. Like, <laughs> you're fucking tripping, right? The amount of people like, I don't carry a gun. I don't yeah. come out here without a the gun. The dude pulled the gun out on me the other day. Yeah, I right. heard about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, man, I bought this place. Ain't nobody never messed with it. Mm -hmm. I was fixing it up. You know, I've been taking my time trying to bring it back to life. Yeah. Working, coming when I can get some free time. Mm -hmm. And they, um, they, um, Ain't nobody never mess with it. They went to open the door of the apartment. He said he owned this house for three years, but they found out that the door was locked from the inside. Then the owner described what he was planning to do with the apartment. Wow. From the inside? Yeah. Like the squatters? Yeah, somebody had to wear it from the inside. Hey, what do you plan on doing with this place long term? I was trying to. You see that? 
Yeah, what are you trying to like? It's no, I was just saying, like, yeah, well, okay. yeah, they probably got a nail shirt. Someone's got a nail shirt or something. Yeah, I gotta go through a different way. No, what I was planning on doing with it, you know, I bought it, was fixing it. I put a lot into this book here. Yeah. Like, a lot. I, I've had it nice. Like, they came in here and started it. Officers entered the home. When the owner unlocked the back door, they started going through the entire house. When the police inquired if the items were his, he denied ownership. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, police! Inside, make yourself known. Did you put this stuff in here? No, in this stuff. I came back. I'm gonna show you how I had it. So you is this your stuff or no? No, the furniture, that table. That was my stuff. Put all this other crap on here. Man, no. Like this clothes and shit? No, ain't no. Man, I had this place. This is, uh, like, just to let you know, like, I've been having this for a while. That might have been living here. Yeah, I know. When I came, when I came out of the day, that's when I found out. But they've been all through my place. What about these, like, guitars and stuff? Man, I, man, I came here, it was about 20 people in this building. I'm surprised that these tools, um, are these your tools? No, they're my tools. So if somebody working, it's a working guy living in here. Like, but ain't nobody supposed to be in here. Like, this is like a bad dream for me. I put, I fix all of this up. Did you put this No, like, I ain't put none but of that. That's what that's it is. Okay, like these plugs, okay, I've seen that yeah. before, but, but to but do But they decorate it, you yeah. know, like that. Like. The police suspected someone was in one of the rooms. They soon found a woman. She informed the cops that she was unable to walk. Police asked her some questions and explained the situation. They inquired about the person who took care of her. Come to the top apartment. Dang, please, you make yourself know! There's someone in here. Dang, please! You're inside, make yourself know! Okay. Alright, get your dog. Okay. Alright, alright. It's alright. Alright, it's okay, pup. Alright, What's your name? How you well, you. Uh, how do, who's been, who's, who took care of you last? Tessa. Tessa. When did that happen? When did she take care of you? Last night. Last night. I don't know if there's a way here. Let me see if there's a way. Officers found another locked room. They opened it and found another suspect under the bed. Police ordered him to show his hands, but didn't listen. Rather, he warned them that he would shoot. They removed the matress, deployed tasers, and were able to handcuff him. That sounds like Scott. Yeah, I got Scott. Yeah. I smell incense. <laughs> Secure. Hey, man. Fire's 
Oh, yeah. Put your fucking hands! Do it now! Put your hands behind your back! Don't do it again! Don't do it again! Do not tuck that hand down! Do not tuck that hand down! Stand behind your fucking mouth! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. 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 Hang in that room, police searched the closet and found another woman. They took her out of there and handcuffed her. She claimed that she was there to take care of the disabled woman. She also said she was a recovering addict. Then they took her to the police vehicle. In front of the vehicle, they searched her. She claimed they rented the house from another man from another city. Cop again explained the situation and put her in the car. She hasn't been searched. She's gonna have to. I don't know her name yet, but she's safe. Yeah. Like said, I'm not trying to resist, I'm not trying to cause problems, I really need Ashley's caretaker, I'm just scared. Yeah, I understand you're scared, but you understand how scared we are? Yeah, there's a... There's... This man owns this place, and we're on the street, he asked you to leave the other day, and you came back. Because this other guy that we ripped from told us that he did And he's a liar. <laughs> and no, that's not, out, that's not I even was, a story, because you're already instructed here, to leave. I was out here the other day when someone pointed a gun at the other what? Yes, we have a spare. Do you keep anything in your bra, money, phone, cards, anything like that? We don't, we don't know. You obviously weren't taking very good care of her. Um, yeah, I was trying to get us out of here. We have nowhere to go. From all this here. There's a homeless shelter. All three of the squatters were then transported to the police station for further questioning. For more chilling tales of criminals, hit the subscribe button.